Hi there. Welcome to a new video. In this video we will be talking about the LF and CRLF warning of Git. So let's begin. The error message LF will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it in Git is a warning message indicating that Git has detected inconsistent line endings in a file. LF, line feed and CRLF, carriage return line feed are two different types of line endings used in different operating systems. Unix-based systems, such as Linux and macOS, use LF as the line ending character, while Windows uses CRLF. When you clone a Git repository, Git detects the line endings used in the files and sets the configuration to match the platform. However, if the file contains mixed line endings, Git may convert them to the platform's default line endings. This can cause issues when working with files across different operating systems. The warning message LF will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it means that Git has detected LF line endings in a file that will be replaced with CRLF line endings the next time Git modifies the file. This warning message can be resolved by configuring Git to handle line endings correctly for the specific platform. The error message LF will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it in Git indicates that there is a problem with the line endings in the file. Let's understand it more deeply. In Unix-based systems, like Linux and macOS, lines are terminated with a single line feed character LF. However, in Windows systems, lines are terminated with a carriage return character followed by a line feed character CRLF. When files are transferred between Windows and Unix systems, the line endings can get messed up, causing the file to be displayed incorrectly. To fix this issue, Git offers a way to automatically convert line endings to the appropriate format when files are transferred between systems. The error message is simply a warning that Git will convert the line endings to the Windows format, CRLF, when it is next used, which may cause the file to appear differently when viewed on a Unix-based system. To avoid this warning, you can configure Git to always use the Unix line endings, LF, in your project, regardless of the platform you are working on. Now let understand what is LF. LF stands for line feed and it is a control character used to represent the end of a line of text in computing. It is also known as new line. In Unix based operating systems, a new line is represented by LF, while in Windows based systems, it is represented by a combination of two characters, CR, carriage return, and LF. When working with Git, which is a version control system, this difference in line endings can cause issues, especially when collaborating on code across different operating systems. Git may display the warning message LF will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it when it detects that a file in the repository has LF line endings, but it needs to be converted to CRLF line endings to work properly on Windows-based systems. Now let understand what is CRLF. CRLF stands for Carriage Return, CR, and Line Feed, LF. It is a sequence of characters used to represent a line break or end of line, EOL, in text files on Windows systems. The CR character represents the beginning of the line and the LF character represents the end of the line. In contrast, on Unix and Linux systems, LF is used as the EOL character and on macOS systems, CR is used as the EOL character. 
The difference in EOL characters can cause issues when text files are transferred between systems with different operating systems and that's why Git warns about replacing LF with CRLF. Now let's see how we can fix this error. To fix the LF will be replaced by CRLF error message in Git, you can configure Git to handle line endings in a consistent manner. You can set git to convert line endings to lf on checkout and convert them back to crlf on commit using the following command. git config global core.au tokelf true. Alternatively, you can set git to leave line endings as they are in the repository and not perform any conversions using git config double dash global core dot auto crlf input. It is recommended to use the first option, core.autocrlf true, on Windows machines and the second option, core.autocrlf input, on macOS or Linux machines. After setting this configuration, Git will automatically handle line endings according to the chosen option and you should not see the LF will be replaced by CRLF error message again. So conclusion is that, if you are doing all the stuff by yourself and do not care about cross platforms running the following code will put the line endings as it is and check out. Git config double dash global core dot auto crlf false. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then goodbye.